Hey coding crew, welcome back to the channel. Today we are unpacking a massive TypeScript update that's so fast it will leave your old compile times in the dust. TypeScript has become a must-have for developers who love JavaScript but curve type safety and beta tooling. It's awesome for catching errors early and making code easier to manage until your project gets huge. So now if you just talk about that project structure, you know, we love to use the TypeScript for the type safety and pretty much whenever we are dealing with the e-commerce website, you're going to have that txconfig.json file which is responsible to compile all of those scenario and fill like of all the types should be checked and properly utilized now until my project get huge you, you know then uh, we might uh, get some slow compile times like the editors or the laptop cugging uh, while a uh, building so now that's where microsoft latest project comes in a native pores of the typescript compiler with go designed to turbocharge performance and fix those point pain points now this project is uh, like when you are like uh, deploying at the first time or you know building in the prefetch is getting some a uh, lacky situation here now to address those things they make the typescript as faster and now you see that we have begun work on a native port of the typescript compiler and tools the native implementation will drastically improve editor startup reduce most build times by 10x and substantially reduce memory uses so this i really love to see that improve editor startup especially in the windows we are facing that problem very 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 much like when we start our uh, like editor it's taking a lot of time to just go through and cross scenario even the type is kept lane checking and other parameters sometimes we are typing and the lane checking is getting uh, like a little bit slower we need to wait till the red mark disappear so this is a very much improvement on that how much faster is that if you see that visual studio code is getting like if the size is 1.5 million you know the current is 77.8 in the native is getting 77.5 it's like 10x speed up in playwright same 10.1 type ORM is 13.5 that fns is 9.5 and trpc is 9.1 rxjs is 11 per like 11 times faster now what kind of base data they are formulating you see our native implementation is already capable of loading many popular type script projects and including the TypeScript compiler itself, you know, so that's the one. It's a very, very heavy project. And I just grab it in my editor here. And you can see this is the like you can see the preview and you can read the readme file to understand a little bit more about it. And if you go in the checker.go file, it's in the internal then checker.go. Previously, it was checker.ts file. And as you see here, it's a pretty much big deal. This is the file which is responsible to check all of the type parameters. 15,000 plus line which is responsible to compile each and everything within your project so this is pretty cool things you can have a like you know just go through that and have a try to understand a little bit more and also if you want to having a very good idea about the go project see the structure this structure is really really important to follow through and by the way if you go to our this release itself which is now come here so if i just type that for typescript so let's say type script let's see the changes uh, any changes is coming so far yeah the language is 5.8 so they are just getting in the visual studio code the type script 5.8.2 i think that the release also contains the latest data which they announced it here so you can just i'm gonna pass all and other link you can find in the description and you can just go and explore a bit and why they use go you know by so far before why they change to go you can have a very good explanation here try to read it and also you know there are a lot of issues there you can read and have a better idea also you can go in that reddit document a reddit a blog here also here is described and by the way if you want to have a very good more idea i really recommend you to watch that uh, tios video on typescript just change forever it's really uh, remarkable the way he explained each and everything if we just go and try to understand a bit how the things can work as you see we are here incremental is true so now if i just put that npx tss ts uh, i think the tsc so now experimental flag no need to uh, wrap up because it's already true so now we can just follow through our project basis so it will just you know accumulate the project structure and it will also give a very good idea how the project is running also if we just diagnose that one like npx tsc and we're gonna go with like say four slash uh, npx i think Oh, not TSX, TSC. And then we're going to go with extended 
diagnostic so you can have a very good diagnostic about your project and this is uh, running very much smooth and faster you know you can it getting the count of files and lines of library so everything is smoother and pretty much a streaker on that so i think this is a very good and bold move to just go with that especially the editor speed i i really really love that one you see the most developers have to spend in editors and it's where performance is most important we want editors to load large uh, projects quickly and respond quickly in all situations now this is one of the large project in uh, like if this type is skip go so what i'm gonna do uh now as you see i'm gonna i'm gonna bump it for a bit i'm gonna reload my window with that enter and let's see and I think it's pretty cool the way it's load up you see everything it just go on the line and it's load up pretty faster i think the improvements we can see still uh it, it's, it's now in active mode so we can now picture that one how really it's working and it's really make that one so type keep went to the gym and come back super wow this new version really can handle giant projects without even breaking a sweat compiling your code lighting fast now so i really recommend you to try it and make that you know create a new project with type script then you can have a very good understanding and really and for more sure please watch this video this is uh, really be an eye opening about that segment and and of course the change is that it's like the direct to hardware is working right now and it's a 10x faster and super smooth and it's like a coding in a sports car really faster move now also what i really really want you to do that you know create a project in jsx then type uh, in the tsx so the scenario is here why we are moving in typescript so like uh, multiple developers working to Together, it will not be a glitch here you know the all are type saved like nobody can just put some garbage there and the code it will not accept you know the lane thing it will always uh, like uh, highlight where we are having an error so I think this is a very good way to contribute in uh, especially in the coding sector so now I wish that in your project you are going to use the type script and make it happen in a very good way so are you excited about this type script upgrade smash that like button subscribe for more cool coding tips and drop a comment how this speed boost making your coding life better and share this with your friends you know they will thank you for the heads up and all the best aware of that and work on it and i'm gonna coming up with another video with some of the cool news